I'm just gonna show you guys a little behind the scenes on how I did these tapes. I made a video about this in December. I've got a couple tapes to size. Jesus, I've got shit everywhere. Um, I'm gonna just show over here. Now, these three tapes to digitize that I unsealed. That one's already done. I'm actually using a different VCR right now. This is a VCR I got from Goodwill. Um, along with that LG TV, which I don't have anymore. I gave that to somebody else. I, I was trying to digitize this and the whole station went up. The Insignia VCR is usually up here, but it's not here right now because I'm intending to digitize another tape with the Black Dazzle, and that doesn't work on this computer. I do plan to move that computer up here, or vice versa, move this one downstairs. Because that'll be a thing, because I can't be going ho hopping levels during the summer. Anyway, let's get this thing going. I'm going to show you the m how my perfect setup. Now, disclaimer, I'm not saying that any one setup is good for any for every person. But this is a Dell and Sperone 530 with a Pentium something something Windows 7. Oh, because of my power to start Windows normally. Because it boots to Windows 7 by default. Got Windows 7 on this thing. Um, but that's not what I use to digitize tapes, though. And yes, this, is, this monitor can support up to a higher resolution. I just choose to run it on a lower one because it makes it easier to watch videos. Alrighty. I've shown this on video before, but I'll show it again. This computer is the one I use to recreate the visiting the doctor with Bear 2005 Disney VHS. I'm mainly doing this for others. It's not connected to the internet anymore. But you can see this is Windows 7. I have the classic theme on because it helps performance a little bit. Also, it matches what I have on the other, other operating system, which we'll get in a moment. And here's uh here, let's just show you I'll show you what this computer has even though I've shown it before. Pentium Dual E2220, 2.4 gigahertz, and yeah, two gigs of RAM. You would think, how the hell is that enough to digitize tapes? Well, it just works. And ironically speaking, this thing is a 160 gigabyte Seagate drive, which I'm talking about tech and I usually do it on another channel, but the reason I'm talking about it here is because I'm trying to show you behind the scenes of this computer. So it all makes sense. Um, so yeah, there's Bandicam, that is what I've used to record those DVD openings. DVD decryptor, which I use on the other computer to make all those ISOs. Uh, crystal disk, just some basic programs. Anyway, there's not much to show on here, so let's restart. Let's restart and go into the other operating system, which is the one I actually need to use. Um, uh, the reason I don't use this operating system to digitize tapes, I'll explain it once I get in the other operating system. Which is Windows XP. You might have seen it in a video, I did have Windows XP on here, but I made some changes since that video. Alrighty. Gotta keep this thing secure. That's where all my digitizations live. Good old Windows XP. You can see you have the classic theme on here. It again helps performance with digitizing tapes. But the surprising thing is, here you can see Pinnacle. The reason I use Windows XP instead of Windows 7 is because Windows 7 32 bit, which 32 bit is the reason why it was what White Dazzle was designed for. Most people that are using it are using 64 bit systems. You got to use a 32 bit system like this. That's what the White Dazzle was designed for. And Windows XP is the appropriate system for it. And Pinnacle Studio 14 works on it. Pinnacle Studio 15 also works. But anything higher than that will not work on Windows XP. Or Vista, I'm pretty sure. But who the hell would use Vista? Like, get real. Let's open up Pinnacle, which does not crash on this thing. Unlike the other computer, it was crashing. Although the other thing is... 
Eh, let's just uh, start with a new one. No. You can see it does not crash like the other one did. Oh, let's show you system properties. This is a cracked version of Windows XP. This is cracked. That's also why it runs much better because it's cracked. I can have the bare screensaver running and that still will work. It'll still do this at stage. Oh, no input signal. Let's turn on the VCR. There we go. Eject it thinks that the tape's ejected, but it's already gone. Let's just put this tape in here just to prove my point. See? Easy. Meet one of our players. What's your name, you know? <laughs> See? Works. Let me change the name of the file. Uh, and I believe this one's from 2005. Yep, it is. So, let's see, it's Be a Sport. So there you guys got it. It's a behind the scenes of me di how I did set the tape. And yes, I will share them here as long as they stay up. But if they get taken down, I won't be giving them to you guys publicly. So if you get to see them on my channel, you best download them. Plus, you'll get a lower file size. Not as good quality, but whatever. All right, I'm going to end this video. Hopefully you enjoy it and see you later.